Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. I also have a self-study mini course, Telepathically Connect with your specific person. So if you guys are interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I want to give all of you guys who are manifesting a specific person back into your life a perspective and an attitude that I would encourage you to adopt so that you guarantee that your specific person is definitely going to come back into your life and that this happens no matter what. So this is what I'm going to be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So I know the vast majority of you who are watching this channel are manifesting a specific person. And I know a huge number of those of you who are manifesting a specific person are manifesting someone who was an ex-boyfriend, an ex-girlfriend, perhaps an ex-spouse, or someone you had a sort of a connection or a relationship with in the past, and you're now manifesting them back into your life, or you're manifesting them as a different version of themselves back into your life, etc. So if you're in this category, which I know very many of you are, and you want to guarantee that that person returns into your life the way you want them to return into your life as the version of themselves that you want them to return as, I would highly, highly encourage you to adopt this attitude and this perspective and embody this assumption and this belief that I'm going to give you in a moment. And if you sustain that and you run with it and you go with it and you embody it and you live it day to day and dwell in it day after day, there is no way your specific person is not coming back into your life. Because as we know, what manifests is our inner states, our inner energy, and that includes our inner beliefs, our inner assumptions, and our inner expectations of whatever the situation is that we're manifesting. In this case, bringing a specific person back into our life. So this perspective, this assumption comes from Florence Kovalshin. Those of you who have studied Florence Kovalshin will know that she was huge on affirmations. She was big on creating assumptions and beliefs. And if you look online, even if you don't have her books, you are going to find a ton of her affirmations that she was giving her clients that she was working with or that she was teaching her students that she was teaching. So this perspective that I'm going to teach you today comes from one of Florence Kovalshin's teachings. So Florence has this affirmation that goes like this. What God has given me can never be taken away from me, for his gifts are for all eternity. Now, what she means by God, Florence actually believed that our higher self is God and that our supernatural self is God. You are free, of course, to believe whatever you want about God. As you know, this channel does teach spirituality, but at the same time, we remain very open to everyone's faith, everyone's beliefs, everyone's uh, spiritual pursuits. So I wanted to clarify that, but that is not the important part. The important part is the affirmation itself, the assumption that this affirmation creates. What Florence is saying in this affirmation is, if something has been given to you already, if something has appeared in your life already, that is already a gift given to you by God, however you understand God, whether you understand God as your higher self, um, whether you understand them as an outer God, an outer force, or as the universe, however you resonate with it, a person or a relationship or an experience that has already come into your life is a gift. And because it is a gift from God, from that higher force, from that higher self, from the universe, if you will, this gift is never going to be taken away from you. So what does this mean in practice and how does it relate to you bringing your specific person back into your life? Well, I think it's self-explanatory and I think it's very clear. If you assume that your specific person came into your life whenever that was, whether that was six months ago, three years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, it doesn't matter. And they appeared in your life, they were given to you in your life as a gift. That means they cannot be taken away from you because they were a gift in the first place. So that means if you're in a separation with them right now, that is just a perceived separation. That is your dominant inner state. However, 
do not believe that you have lost them forever. They are still there, they're still available to you and available for you, and because they have already been given to you as a gift, they cannot be taken away from you and they are not going to be taken away from you. That means they belong in your life, they belong with you, they belong in this relationship with you, if this is what you want, if this is what you decide, and if this is what you're manifesting. And because they have been given to you as a gift, they are yours for all eternity, or at the very least, for however long you want to be with them. I find this a very, very profound affirmation. It creates a very, very profound, a very stable and steady assumption about you and your specific person and the relationship between the two of you. And I also happen to think that it is a wonderful perspective to adopt for those of you who feel that you might have lost your specific person because you're not together anymore in the 3D. It is an assumption that if you develop it and if you start embodying it and believing it and identifying with it, it basically tells you that you never lost your specific person in the first place. It might seem like it in the 3D, that's only because your consciousness changed and you are dwelling on the separation right now and at this moment. However, once your consciousness shifts towards a relationship with them, towards bringing them back into your life, towards, towards adopting that loving, receptive, open and welcoming perspective once again towards them and your relationship with them, you are going to realize that they were not really lost ever in the first place. They've actually always been there, they've always been available, they've always been ready to be in your life or back in your life in this case, and that it's now up to you to call them back in with your shift in consciousness, your shift in awareness, your shift in energy, and with assuming that they are still yours, they've always been yours, they will always be yours, no matter what. Why? Because they were given to you in the first place, and so they cannot be taken away from you, no matter what. Start cultivating this perspective, start cultivating this assumption and this belief within you, and I guarantee you, you are going to start seeing results very, very soon if you sustain that assumption, if you sustain that state that I know they belong with me. You are going to see success once this assumption becomes dominant within you and it starts getting pushed out into the 3D. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.